next on Global Pulse, how these broadcasters around the world are covering the North Korean missile launch. The North Koreans launched a rocket that could eventually be able to carry nuclear weapons, perhaps all the way to the U.S. The secretive nation insists its aim was to send a communication satellite into orbit in a peaceful bid to develop a space program. However, Russian media reported Monday that Russia's space control system had not registered the DPRK satellite in orbit. The payload from the North Korean rocket splashed down in the Pacific Ocean without reaching orbit. But not according to North Korea's state-run media. Chosun Central Television insisted the launch was a success and is even keeping daily track of the satellite in space. The communication satellite is successfully launched. The satellite entered its orbit without any mistakes nine minutes after launch. I congratulate all of you because you have made the great General Kim Jong-il very happy with the launch of the communication satellite. The satellite is in orbit right now, playing immortal revolution songs of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. Let's watch the satellite and listen to the songs it's playing right now. According to Agence France Press, a North Korean newspaper reported that the success of the launch moved Kim Jong-il to tears. The launch fueled growing international concern about North Korea's military power. South Korean President Lee Myung-bak called it a reckless act threatening global security. South Korea's KBS reported on a new pride among North Korean workers. South Korean workers in the North Korean industrial city of Gaesong said North Korean officials bragged about their country's missile launch. The plant officials were so confident and excited today that South Korean workers were surprised. They've never seen them like that before. China, the North's closest ally, refused to condemn the launch. China's CCTV highlighted the North Korean people's outpouring of support. About 100,000 people in Pyongyang turned out in Kim Il-sung Square. Speaking at the rally, officials praised Sunday's rocket launch. They said putting a satellite into orbit demonstrated the technological might of what they called socialist Korea. The missile passed over Japan, North Korea's traditional rival, escalating fears of an attack by the North. Japan's FCI explored North Korea's propaganda machine. North Korea's radio station announced that media around the world broadcast that the satellite was launched successfully. We made calls to Pyongyang and told people that the satellite launch had failed. It is an absolute lie. North Korean newspapers reported the success of the launch correctly. As we know, the U.S. and Japan tell lies all the time about North Korea, so we don't trust them. Inside North Korea, government control of information appears to be total. Three days after the launch, Kim Jong-il was re-elected the country's leader. Democratic People's Republic of Korea leader Kim Jong-il has been re-elected chairman of the National Defense Commission. State media says the election reflects the unanimous will and wishes of all the service persons and people. Under its constitution, this again makes King the DPRK's top leader. For Global Pulse, I'm Evelyn Messenger. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs programs that connect you to the world.